Hello, beautiful people. This is Vlad from Synaptic Schism, and today we are going to continue talking about AI for music composition and music production. As I have stated in previous videos, I think that there are three fundamental tools for AI in music uh, production and composition. Type A is AI being used to get rid of like repetitive tasks that we do all the time. Uh, the type B task is pure composition, just writing music. And the type C is a, is a bit in the middle, so it's about getting rid of those tasks that are repetitive, but that involve some kind of composition. Iva that I'm going to talk about today is clearly a type 2 kind of tool. So it's a fully featured composition and orchestration or arrangement AI. It creates literally full tracks across a number of different styles and genres of music okay so i discovered iva a year ago quite literally a year ago let me show you this folder so this folder has all the folders with each one of them has got up to 10 tracks that i created between uh, april 24th 2022 and may 31st uh, 2022 so i got uh, a professional subscription from Ava during a month because I was able to create a large number of tracks and uh, I would be able to download and use them without having to worry about copyright and stuff like that. And back then, so exactly a year ago, I'm recording this on April 25th, 2023, and this was on April 24th, 2022. So exactly a year ago, the process of actually creating music on Ava was a little bit different than it is today or at least didn't have the tools that exist today. So let me quickly show you what existed back then. It was these preset styles. So what I would do, I would pick up modern cinematic, 20th century cinematic, and sometimes I use jazz or fantasy, but mostly these two. And then once you pick one, you choose the key. To me, it's usually an E minor or A minor. A, a time signature, which usually to me was 4-4, although I have some things in 3-4. And then the pacing, slow, medium, or fast, and the instrumentation. The instrumentation is really, really, really important because if you pick an epic orchestra using these preset styles, you're going to have many tracks with like violins. In the case of epic orchestra, you're going to have strings, brass, and percussion. Okay, But if you pick, which is usually what I picked, piano solo, you're going to have sort of a reduction into a piano part. And... With some exceptions, this was all that I did. I have a couple of tracks that were done with like the epic orchestra and so on. But to me, what I want to achieve is I want to have some starter ideas, but I want to do the arrangements and the orchestration and the development and so on. And with piano, it's just like three or four tracks of piano, one with a melody, one with the bass, one with the harmony. So I would often just go to the piano. The vast majority of the tracks that I have and I have about a hundred of them, a little bit less, have piano solo. However, instrumentation is critical because Iva is really good at actually picking instruments that are adequate to whatever is creating or composing. Okay? To me, I don't want the full composition to be done by AI. I just want to have ideas, things that I can build on. Therefore, piano solo to me was the single best way of doing it sometimes soft piano if i was going with like a slow thing i felt that that was going to change something in the composition but maybe there's nothing there in the duration i would always pick up to three minutes and my reasoning for, for that was that i found out that if it's lower than this one you are not going to have like parts a b and bridges and so on if it's smaller than this or if the length is lower than this I didn't have the part variation that I was looking for, so usually I just pick this one. And then for compositions, if I'm not mistaken, since I had the Pro subscription, I could do 10. I think that the number of compositions here is limited because I don't have a subscription active at the moment. So this is how Ava worked a year ago, and the truth is that I created almost 560, maybe, tracks. And what I did was every time a track was finished, I would listen to it. And then if I didn't like it, I would delete it. And if I liked it, I would just give it like a some kind of, like for instance, calm here. It's just that I felt that the track was calm. 
okay and then the time signature the key and uh, and also the meter that that was being used okay and with this i actually have quite a library that i can use for music composition that is made for the most part of just piano tracks so an example is for instance if i had orchestral a minor 110 with a in a 4 4 meter i would have something like this You can actually see in the editor what is going on. So these were the three. Actually four, there's an extra track here. So it would mostly create a melody, some kind of harmony. That's kind of just one line, but okay. <laughs> actually near here is different. And then a bass line. And sometimes it had like an extra thing going on, which is here. But to me, this kind of like reduced scope compositions were the best for me to have some sort of starting point that I could build on. Okay. All right. Now, I have a did change quite a bit. Uh, I have, I didn't visit the site for quite a while. And then I started thinking about creating these AI videos and I decided to come back to Iva and check what was going on and now it's a little bit different actually so if i create a composition i'm going to have these generation profiles so oh, let me do it differently so i have generated i have created this generation profile so these are like rules building blocks on how to write the compositions that i was going to write and i've been i've tried these four so i created these four and checked different things so this one is model this this one this generic is like everything that i could eventually like to have in a composition everything is there and then i created i focused a little bit more on this soundtrack cinematic structure and cinematic with a classical structure so let me create one from scratch i'm going to create the generation profile i'm going to say that it's sad and this this is the starting point so the sad actually created this harmony part this bass and chords as far as i could see they are always the same and then we, we have these these uh, settings so dynamic range it speaks for itself so usually i want something to go from average to loudest and this is the tempo range so it's going to create tracks between one and the other expressive performance is actually very interesting because it's not just about the dynamics it's also about the tempo I personally want to choose something with no tempo variations because I want to handle the tempo, but humanized dynamics gives me an idea of the things going up and down. So in the in the test that I did, this was my my favorite setting, let's say. The development, to me, the thing that I did was I just removed this and then I've put melody, chords, and then percussion in the end. I want to create my percussion 100% of the time. I don't want percussion. That's it. There's nothing else that I want to discuss. So melody is the top priority, followed by chords, followed by bass, and then extras. Sure, maybe it's good, but I don't even add extras or percussion. So it's going to create only these three 100% of the time. And I say that the minimum number of layers, number of layers is three which means that it will always create melody, chords, and bass. Always, 100% of the time. Structure development, I'll be honest, I've checked a number of them, and apparently it creates more or less always the same thing. So it creates things like a A part with a bunch of variations of the A part, a A part followed by a B followed by a bridge, followed by a variation of A, followed by a variation of B, followed by a bridge, or, and then A in the end, or A, B, bridge, variation of A, variation of B, bridge, C, regardless of what I choose here. At least of the, I haven't tested all of them, but that's, that's what I found. So I'm kind of not caring too much about this development time, but I didn't see that much of, of a difference here. So three, because I want the three layers always to be developed. And then here we choose the harmony, I tried, I played a little bit with modal. We can choose modal or functional. Modal didn't work that well for me. I don't know exactly how Ivy is handling this. The functional harmony worked really, really, really well for me. And then 
you can choose a bunch or actually you can choose several of them and it's going to use all of the data sets at the same time i tried several it worked as expected i have used advanced chromatic quartz quite a bit it was a lot of fun because it it creates these really unconventional kind of harmonies which which is really good i had fun with this for sure it was really cool so this has a big impact in the end composition that that you're going to have then all of these things harmonic repetition and so on usually i go for the least repetitive i found out that arm, harmonic pacing goes hand in hand with melody actually and not in a good way so if we have harmonic pacing at slow we are going to have uh, melodies that only have one tone it's really really strange i don't know exactly why that happens so what what i do i, I just want this like going from uh, medium to fast and that's it in the chords if you just want the triads you can leave this i opted for a five voice which means that if i'm using extensions it's going to give me those extensions bass i didn't touch, touch the bass but then we have we need to add the melody because weirdly for some reason i don't understand it's actually not here so we need to add the melody to it then we need to add the instrument usually i just go usually it's not like i'm using this that much to a concert one and that's it we have the melody now all of of these things so chords uh, melody and harmony and bass depending on what you want to do you kind of need to take a little bit care of it you need to create the profile, test some things, create a, uh, a number of uh, tracks with it, and then see if that's what you want, and then kind of adjust things. A good example here, let me go back, like this cinematic classical structure is a copy of the soundtrack where I changed just a couple of things on harmony and also on the structure, and the end result was really not good. So if there's one generation profile that you actually enjoy just leave that one and create a copy and try to see if you can extract a little bit more from that this being said i then tried a number of things and i got in the end i got these three tracks and these three tracks are piano a uh, mock-ups i would call them they sound something like this Okay, so these are just piano mockups. I saved these three. I think I'm going to use this one. What I want to do is pick this, this 5, 575 one. I'm going to download it because you have, as you can see here, I have three downloads this month because I'm on a free account right now. I'm going to download this one and I'm going to create a full track where I'm going to orchestrate the instrument and so on. What I'm not going to change is how things are organized, so how the old track was organized by Iva, but I will be adding my own things. I will be adding my own bass, my own ostinato, and so on. So for the most part, I'm going to use this track only for the harmony, the structure, and the melody, and I will build a track from there, because I feel that Having a starting point is cool, but getting to a full track is not as easy as um, it's being discussed in the social media. Like, oh, the world is going to end and AI is going to take over and we are not going to have music created by people anymore. And I want to show that it is not that simple to go from something like this to an end to a, to a final track that I would be proud of, it's actually quite a bit of work. So I'm going to show that process. That's what I will be doing uh, in the following videos. However, just a word of advice. Iva is able to create those full compositions. It is perfectly able of doing that, okay? However, I don't feel at this point in time that that's the end result that we are looking for. I don't think that Iva at this point in time is able to get an idea or anything that is remotely human in the way that it's built in terms of thought and turn it into an actual music composition 
that's up to humans to do that. So you can use Iva to do full compositions. As far as I'm concerned, it's a very good tool, but it's a very good tool to have what to me is the difficult part, which is to have that initial idea. And that's what I'm going to show, how to go to, from an AI initial idea to a full track. Okay, so I'll keep working on that in the videos that I will be releasing next week. If you want in the meantime to have a word with me or find me, I am on Twitter at Synaptic Schism, and you can always have a chat with me in the, the comments. I'll be happy to discuss all of this stuff and more. So until the next video, bye-bye.